One of our guests this morning, we're going to be talking with two folks, but the first person we're going to be talking with is Sarah Henry, who is the Public Information and Marketing Manager, the City of Austin's Office, uh, City of Austin's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management. That's a lot before the coffee kicks in. How are you doing? Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Good morning. It is a lot. It's a long title. I appreciate you getting through all of it. I'm trying. I'm really trying. S Sarah's been here before. Yes, She's yes. family. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> I bet at this point we're like, hey, who are y'all sending? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Can y'all send Sarah? Send Sarah. We should start asking for only Sarah. Are, is there anybody else they could send? There are lots of other people. Oh, no. Then we got stuck with me. Yeah. No, yeah. We're going right. gonna, to gonna start filtering right, and say here's the people you can send sarah <laughs> right right exactly well it's people that can send there's people that may not want to there's some folks that are that are yeah. not comfortable with true, microphones true. really are it's 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 crazy i see it every day it's real it's real, real. <laughs> <laughs> nice very good well we're here to talk about the third annual get ready central texas emergency preparedness fair tell us a little bit about that yeah, I appreciate y'all having me on this morning. Sure, I mean, thank you for coming. Is, thank you. This event is really important because it's, it's this time of year, I feel like people start getting run down. School just started. It's still hot. Why is it still hot? I can't okay. even, just I'm talk so about this. I'm so over it. It's still hot. School just started. You're looking, you're looking, when is the next break? It's the holidays. Yeah. So this is the last run, right? Yep. Yep. But but it's also the last run before cold weather starts. And it's hard to think about cold weather mm -hmm. right now when it's still 102 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. But before you know it, we'll be in that winter storm season. Yeah. And so now is the time to think about sure. that. Now's the time to get prepared. And it's hard to think about it. Yes, kids in school, you're trying to make dinner, get through homework. You know, you got to slog uphill to get to work. It's tight. It's tiring. Nobody yeah. wants to do those things. Yeah. But, um, but we want to make it easy for people. And so that's why we put on this event. So this Thursday, you got to come out and hang out with us at the ACC Rio Grande campus from 3 to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, it's free. It's family friendly. Hey. We'll feed you. And you're going to walk away with over $100 worth of free emergency preparedness what? supplies. Nice. Yes. There we go. See, we this go. is why we want Sarah. Sarah <laughs> She's giving us free Sarah stuff Sarah plus $100 Sarah Sarah worth. Sarah 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 she Sarah could have Sarah. just done $25. you would be happy, right? $25 gift card. Yeah, you're kind of happy. happy. She <laughs> did four <laughs> times that. Quadruple, if you will. Bam. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. We love it. Right. And I think it's a cool thing because here's what happens, and this is weird, because you'll be sitting at home, you'll be watching the news, and all of a sudden the, the meteorologists will come on and say, well, in 24 hours, the yeah. temperatures are going to drop to zero below, and, right. and it's like, well, wait a minute, we hold are, up. My car, is, my car needs antifreeze. Yep. <laughs> my, I need to wrap my pipes. I yep. need to yep. do yeah. whatever it takes to make sure that I don't have an issue, mm -hmm. right? I mm -hmm. mean, it's just, and you know, electricity goes out, and we get taken by surprise, especially here in Austin. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're... you're in, I guess when you're in a place like C you too, right? Yeah. It seasons are are, you know, are prevalent to folks in Michigan and New York and etc. Like Austin, we're not ready for that. Never. Listen, I'm from Austin. I'm from Central Texas. And hey. the reason people like to live here is because it's pretty temperate all year round. It gets right. hot in the summer, mm -hmm. but there's no hurricanes. No. Yeah. There's no you know crazy tornadoes. Mm -hmm. And the last couple of years, we got impacts of hurricanes. We got tornadoes in yeah. Round Rock and Cedar Park. Yeah. You know, we have wildfire risk yeah. here. There's so many things that have changed with climate change in our region that make all of these disasters. That if you're from Austin, if you've been around for a long time, you never had to worry about those before. Well, now you do. Now you need yeah. to worry about them. Mm -hmm. And if you're you're from California and you live in wildfire area or if you're from Florida and you're used to hurricanes being prepared is just part of your DNA it's something that you know as a community member that's something that you need to do mm -hmm. and you're used to it you're like okay I got my generator I know what to put you know I know I know how to store my food I know what things to prepare but here we're just like walking around not thinking about that mm -hmm. at all yeah but it's time it's time you have to you have to start uh, changing the way you you plan for emergencies uh, Sarah telling us to be adults yeah <laughs> like to to forecast sarah what about what about the fact that um you know i don't see myself that way like i'm, I'm not a prepper like you know you i don't think i have that i need some ideas i like what you said about a generator can you give me a little bit more of things that i need to do to prep what are some some examples yeah, that's a great question. And you don't have to be, you know, a doomsday prepper type <laughs> level, right? Okay. There's different levels for emergency preparedness. Yeah. And so I like to think of myself as like, I just want to dip my toe and not be <laughs> caught completely off guard, right? Yeah. So if you think about the basic things that you're going to need, um, if you need to shelter in place, you want to have supplies for that. If you need to evacuate, you want to have supplies for that. Yeah. If you have kids, you need to think about what you want to have for your kids. If you have pets, you need to think about what you want to have for your pets. Mm -hmm. So it's just about planning in advance and a little bit. And we do, we do a lot to make sure that 
that we're helping you. We don't want you to have to come up with all the stuff on your own. We have what's called a neighborhood preparedness guide. We have it translated into four different languages. Nice. So all you got to do is come to one of our events, pick up this guide, thumb through it, and all of a sudden you're more prepared because now you're thinking about the things you need to do in advance. So number one is make a plan. Okay. Think about your emergency you know, plan with your with your family. If you guys get separated, where is your point that you're going to get back together? Yeah. And this goes to you know, if you have a house fire, where's your you know regathering point? To if there's a major disaster, where where are you guys going to go to make sure that you can find each other again? So um, we d- rely on our cell phones, right? I don't even have my mom's numbers memorized anymore. <laughs> oh no. Nope. Yeah, I don't either. That yeah. is the only my number wife, I have memorized. That's it. That's it. My <laughs> wife. That's the only one I got. That's it. That's it. But so, so think about all those emergency contacts, your doctor, right. you know, all your family members, and write those contacts down. It's just simple things that you can do with things you already have it, access to and just transforming them in a little bit of a different way so that if something happens, you're more prepared. Take your social security card, your birth certificate, all those documents, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and save them in a waterproof pouch oh, yeah. so that if you need to leave quickly, you've already got all that stuff put together. Yeah. Family photos, things that you wouldn't want to leave if you have to leave quickly pack all that up get it ready to go stuff we don't think about but you know we've seen in the last I'd say 20 years different examples uh, not bringing anything up specifically but yeah. you've seen examples where people literally had like minutes to spare yeah and they had to take their entire life with them yep and next thing you know there everything else is gone it sounds like a go bag yeah Sarah's go telling us to get exactly a go that. bag yeah. but Sarah I don't want to just do the, the go bag. From what you're telling me right now, I took a little digital note. Mm-hmm. Go buy all the toilet tissues, what I wrote down here. No, no. And, uh, no. <laughs> and, and then, I, wait, I'm not done, Sarah, because you, oh, had, you gave me a lot of thoughts. Go get all the pork and beans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is that okay? Those no, no, two no. things and, and that's at the thing. top we, of my list? So, so food and toiletries are important, but nobody needs to make a run on the grocery store. And that's the idea. Oh, if you're planning in advance, right. every time you go to the store for your re- weekly grocery shop, or however often you go if you don't go that often you know um then what i would say is just get a little something every time you go this can be something that can be done on a budget it can be something that can be done over time what we recommend is that you have seven days worth of food and water Listen, I don't have money for seven days worth of food and water now, much less for work. <laughs> okay. You sound like you work where I work. Yeah. <laughs> where the money, no, no matter where you work, the yeah. money's never got, long you enough. Got more month, you got more month than you do it's money. It's never long this enough. This disaster yeah. better go ahead and wrap up because yeah. my exactly. finances ain't prepared for I'm, I'm prepared for a 48-hour disaster. Straight That's up. about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. FEMA recommends three days, but what we've right. seen here oh. locally is sometimes these winter storms and these events, they last longer. Yeah. We so we want people to be prepared. But that's expensive. It's hard yeah. to do that. Yes, it, I don't ma'am. care what your budget is, right? Those yes, are right. hard things to plan for. So if you break it out over time, do a little bit, you know, as you go, it just makes it a lot easier, a lot more accessible. True. Sarah, I need to know some, you had give me like some resources, like who do I call? Like there's some people I need to know to call. Sounds like I might need some people. Y'all are better give me that at the fair. Like I, you'll be able to tell me who my light person and who a phone person or I like just contacts points of contact i'm making a joke of it but it feels like you guys are going to have people there that i should be aware of like there's going to be people that oh yeah you you should be on my on my my uh people i need to know my quick dial yeah I should have those kind of contacts, right? Yeah, so not only will we be there um, as the host of the event this Thursday, but we have 27 different See, vendors. There it is. Yeah. That's our there. preparedness right there, ladies <laughs> yeah. and gentlemen. That's, that's what we're talking about. So, so, you know, if you live in Austin and you have Austin Energy, they'll be there to help talk about the different resources that they have. Yep. Austin Water will be there. Yep. Okay. Um, so a lot of the city departments that, here, that support us here locally will be part of this event. Yep. Um, but outside of that, we have uh, regional partners. Mm-hmm. So we have right. folks um, like at CAPCOG and the National Weather Service, our yep. San Antonio office. Those are the ones so all I these want. people make up the ecosystem regionally. Then we have folks at the state level, the state division of emergency management. And then okay. we have folks at FEMA at the federal level. So wherever you are in your preparedness journey you'll be able to make a friend at the event uh both with the partners that'll be there and you know part part of the goal is for you to come out and then meet your neighbors because in an emergency the first people that are going to be able to help you are are your next door neighbors they're going to be the ones who'll be there way before a first responder can get there to help you saw that during that winter storm man you got to talk to people passing food around and 
I even thought about going to my neighbor's yard and chopping their tree down because I needed firewood, you know. And they said, we actually have firewood. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I didn't know I had an axe. Was you Paul Bunyan I, in this, an emergency. Sir, I had a saying, fleece no jacket on, and I wanted to use my fleece. Out there, axe swinging. Right, Sarah, <laughs> I, I, I want to go back to some of the things that you said. This is a preparedness fair for those who are not aware. On Thursday, September mm -hmm. 19th, from 3 to 7, over at Austin Community College, Rio Grande campus. So what you're saying is, I could walk around with my coffee cup and a couple little items of refreshment that are going to be there, go up to a table, talk to a person, nibble a little bit, go on over to the next one, and depending on what time the people get there, there's going to be some giveaways and and you know, obviously, until we run out, because like giveaways, which you're you're here today. Hopefully, everybody come now. <laughs> you're like, Dare, stop sending Sarah. She got, mm. she's rallying the the troops, and everybody's showing up now. But that's that's. It sounds like this is the greatest amount of time for a person to spend when you're learning refreshments, yep. family friendly. Yep. It's free. Neighbors, twenty seven people. Yep, twenty seven vendors. Yep, Sarah. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, there, there's a couple other things we want people to get prepared for, right? So yeah. if you come to the event, awesome. Yeah. We want you to do that. Even if you don't come to the event and you're mm -hmm. just like, I'm too busy, I can't make that work for my schedule. We have other events that we host as well. So if you can't make it this Thursday, we do what's called an emergency preparedness pop-up every month. I was so looking at that. I saw the different dates. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. So those are every single month in every city council district. So wherever you are in the city, there's one near you. Hey. That's moving around. That's, That's Right. That's right. And so you can check that out on the readycentraltexas.org website. Oh. Um, and then let's say that this is your jam and you really want to learn more. You're not quite a doomsday prepper, but you want to level up a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. You can go to what we call Ready Together. It's a two hour classroom training. And we'll teach you all about the four steps of emergency preparedness, which are make a plan, what we talked about. Yeah. Know your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Build a kit, which we're going to give it to you for free. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. And then stay informed. And we'll teach you all, all right. the ways you can stay informed before and during an emergency. With those 27 people. That's right. <laughs> those 27 vendors. Yeah. I'm going to stay informed. I know who to call, who to reach out to, who to ask the questions. Yeah. Who's going to have the updates. Yeah. This is great. You even need to know who's the person that's gonna have a radio. Yeah, they need to have one person that's a pilot. <laughs> you gotta have one person that can fly. Wait, wait, now, plane, now see now you're boat. prepping into the world prepping. Is that too far? Yeah, yeah, you you, that's you, not you, we you have blasted right, right yeah, through what she's because I'm to still do. gathering my my troop of people. Because she's like, a little too calm okay. if we're talking about the end of the world. She got her people already. No, yeah, that's true. That's true. She knows and we don't. Can you fly <laughs> a plane? Do you have a plane person already? <laughs> Zombie apocalypse. I got it. Do you have a plane person already? Is what I'm saying. I'm sure we can we can get that arranged. Because I got two people that are trying to learn and get their license i'm like how comfortable are you driving like She's let's say a 747 <laughs> you feel me homeland security and emergency management yeah she got all the friends she got it all okay how many sarah, of us have them <laughs> that, she, yeah sarah henry uh she's a public information and marketing manager city of austin's office of homeland security and, and emergency management you guys are going to talk about some safety tips too to keep us safe because when i heard paul bunyan over here trying to throw around a, a hatchet Chop. or an axe Chop. i feel like there's some safety tips some things that people could learn uh in advance that that could kind of spark them up uh so like like so for instance you told me that i should not go get all the pork and beans no. so i won't um does anybody know how to open a can anymore it's, it's, With a I, can think, I think we transitioned to pop tops and we have can electrical can yeah, openers. Yeah, you press the button. I think of a lot of safety turns. tips like that. But there'll be some learning. There's no. other like learning items that we can get from coming there. Absolutely. So first of all, we will give you a, a manual can opener oh. as part of your emergency supply kit. Look at the young you plug yeah, it in. He at. doesn't know. Yeah. Because <laughs> if, if the power's out and it doesn't plug in, you still got to be able to open the can. Right. You just plug it press the button oh my god I, I know it's hard it's difficult but it, it is we're, we're gonna help you well, there's a how-to video on the YouTube. okay <laughs> fine see you helped them there. as long as you got a how-to video i'm good so like i can just watch that on my tv when the power is out i got you um about that so preparation you might want to do that before that's okay. here to help, help okay. Ooh, she got it. preparation gotcha yeah 
Um, but you're absolutely right. So um, yeah. as part of our a part of our classroom training, we also have EMS come with us. So you'll see Captain Stedman again. Hey, Captain! Yeah, that's right. We go way back. You guys are old friends. <laughs> um, but they'll come and they'll do a, a, a CPR training class. Yeah, nice. Um, and then um, in addition to that, you'll the fire department will be there. Huh. They'll show you how to use a fire extinguisher. So there are all are all, all kinds of practical tips that is. we want to bring to the trainings as well. So that whatever situation you're in, you just feel more confident mm -hmm. because now you know a little bit of how to use things. Mm -hmm. And when you're confident and you're assured in anything, especially in emergency preparedness. You know, you're just more resilient to weather the storm. I ain't taking nobody. I like mm. you, you see what Sarah said there? Confident. I'm cool. going by myself and I'm gonna accumulate all this info and I'm gonna come back to my neighborhood and I'm gonna be the guy. Be my wife will look at me like I like like I got a cape and the sun is shining on me. And when the moment pops up, everybody's gonna come to Dapper D. I'm I'm gonna save my whole neighborhood. Aww. That's right. I mean, and that's the thing is that you, as a member of your community and your neighborhood, mm -hmm. should feel empowered. Yeah, to help I do. Your neighbors. Thanks Good. to you. Well, hey, um, that's we've done our job today. <laughs> All right, yeah. Sarah, go ahead on. I'm gonna get a statue, but y you won't be mentioned, Sarah. <laughs> but I'm gonna get my own statue. I feel like the statue is still gonna have a cape, isn't it? It, it has yeah. to. Blowing in the wind. Wow. Billowing. <laughs> there it is. That's what I need, Sarah. It, are there? Are there other little things? Um, there are people that are not listening. We have family members. Uh, you said something like four languages. There, some. What if people are hearing impaired? There's going to be accommodations also absolutely to bring so everybody. at all of our events we have interpreters that are there for american sign language for nice. our community members who are deaf or hard of hearing yeah um and then we'll also have content there in braille um so you'll be able to get prepared in braille as well yes um and then we translate all of our emergency information into 14 languages so we'll have a spanish interpreter at the event but if for some reason you need another language just let us know you can do that by just calling 311 letting them know what event you're going to attend and we'll make sure that that translation service is also available good no excuses grief. no excuses y'all oh well yeah. quick quick flex flex uh no excuses uh in german go oh i I that one oh I don't know. Okay, give it to a Russian. So I'll leave Yeah, Russian. Uh, um uh niet <laughs> problem. See you have him as a translator. Yeah. yeah. I, sure wow. Made. That's that's a that's okay, so Sarah, helpful. there are people that are listening right now and they're gonna say, All right, well I live in an apartment, you know, I'm not in charge of all that, I can't have a generator. You're talking to like homeowners, you're talking to the rich people like Jabari over there has got a mansion. He could afford all those generators, he could afford to stock up on that stuff. He could go longer than my forty eight, you said FEMA seventy two, he probably could do seventy two days. I think he <laughs> has a bunker, he's so rich. Oh, mine does two weeks. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, so <laughs> How, what about the rest of us that feel like some some are college students listening? I'm in a dorm. Like, do you think that some apartment dwellers and, and people that are living in dorms, this is a good fit for them too? Absolutely, because this is accessible for anyone, and we will teach you how to build a kit on a budget. So if you're a single mom with two kids and all, you're just trying to get through the day, or if you're a college student and Listen, I've been a college student. You're just eating whatever's in the cabinet. It's <laughs> tough, yeah, you yeah. know. Um, so, so this is really information that's accessible to anyone. And we work with the University of Texas. Obviously, we work with ACC, who's mm -hmm. helping us host the event. We work with. We just did an event um, at. Um, St. Edwards, where they hosted yeah, Preparedness okay. Fair. So this information is also available for college students at whatever university you're at in the area. Um, and, and we'll tailor the information. Um, UT is actually going to be there. So they'll tailor the information for students to make sure that you understand what your role is and, and, and how you can be more prepared no matter where you are. So if you're <sighs> 5 or 95 years old, we've got some programming for you. Right on. Um, we really want to focus our efforts on, on vulnerable populations, so children, um, our senior populations, people with disabilities. We want to make sure that no matter where you are um, in, in, in your span of life, that you know that these resources are available to you. And another thing that we have is called AHAS. It's the Accessible Hazard Alert System. Okay. So just like there's Warren Central Texas, which is, you probably have that on your phone already, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, no, that's, that's key. Because <laughs> you, need, you need to know what's going on and you get the alerts. That's right. Um, but not to be confused 
with the Amber Alert because right. everyone gets that. Sure, sure. So there's Amber Alert. So if there's like a kiddo missing, you'll get a notice on your phone. Yeah. But for Warren Central Texas, we'll send out an emergency alert to you in English and Spanish to let you know, hey, there's a storm. You need to evacuate, whatever the case may be. And we also have a system like that for people who are deaf or blind. Um, and you get an ACL, um, I'm sorry, um, an American Sign Language video sent to your device. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. And then it's also read aloud in English. Hmm. So if you're, again, deaf or blind, you still can get that emergency information. Because, again, I think we think it's important that everyone um, have access to that information and be able to stay safe. Cool. Very cool. Sounds like everybody's everybody's covered <laughs> and yes. all the things are covered, which is, like I said, it's very important because at some point, um, you know, there's always going to be this you know situation where we've got emergencies and they come up really quick. Yeah, they do. And then everybody... You know, not everybody's living situation is the same. Not everybody's reaction time is going to be the same. Some folks are going to be like, ah, I just wait till I wait till it freezes yeah. and then I'll do something yep. about it. Yep. It's like, no, no, you got a chance to do something about that right now. Uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, once again, tomorrow from three to seven at the Austin Community College campus, the Rio Grande campus, uh, 1218 West Avenue, building 3000, which is on the third floor. Correct. Um, and there's free parking. You ain't even got to pay for parking, son. Wow. You know what I mean? And uh, the garage is actually over by Shoal Creek and 12th, and that's where people can park. That's right. We'll even have a shuttle. So. Oh, oh, oh. You're done. Oh. Man, they have done the work for you. My Literally, job. if you have nothing to do, and if you do got something to do, sounds like you should cancel and just go to this. Sarah said she wanted to come in, give us confidence. Yeah. Any stress that comes about, we're going to stay nice calm cool and collect it yeah we are you want to look at us like man you got it together like yeah. you yeah i got a, I got a plan for that if yeah. this is happening i got a plan for Straight that up. but again in none of that will i say sarah henry though i'm gonna just <laughs> tell people i'm just so intelligent i was that aunt that was storing up for the oh. winter yeah, and yeah, uh, i'm prepared right sorry sarah that's right you, all the credit is for you thank you thank you <laughs> Like, yeah, you definitely have been here before. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you. Yeah, when that, when, yeah, it's way too comfortable. Sarah Henry, thank you so much for dropping Woo-hoo. by. We certainly appreciate yeah. it. All right. Sarah. Not yes. a good one. Not a good one. Yes. Uh, once again, you guys need information. Call us at the station. But don't forget, the event is tomorrow, Thursday, September 19th, from 3 to 7 p.m. at the Austin Community College Rio Grande campus. And that's going to be emergency preparedness. And we definitely need it. Because you never know what's going to happen around here. Sometimes it's just uh, an emergency and just it just happens on the fly. All right, we'll be back with more. It's Morning Grind. More to come with the Morning Grind right here on